If you're a Python developer, one of the easiest way to get started building web apps is using Streamlit. Streamlit makes it easy where just with a few lines of code, you can have a working web application. And this is something you can also integrate with Langflow. And for that, we're going to use this repo. You'll notice that there are some instructions on how to get started. One of the easiest ways is to start a code space. So that's what I've done. You can go to the repo, click on code, and in here you can start a new code space. Since I have one running, I'm going to click on that. And once you have the code space running, you can go down to the instructions. And in here we have two different options. We can either use poetry or use make commands. And in this case, I'm going to use make command and I'm going to type make start and this should do the installation. Now, once the Langflow is running, we'll get something along these lines where we have a few different ports that open up for us. So I'm going to click on the first one, which is Langflow. Now we can command click or control click to open a running instance of Langflow. Now in here, I have three different templates, just in case if you're not seeing this, you can go to the store and search for these templates, which has Streamlit in it. And what I'm going to do is I'll just go to one of these, add my API keys and start running or listening. So in this case, we see that it's listening to any of the messages sent to this particular webhook. And once the message is sent here, then it is parsed and then through the prompt, it's sent to OpenAI, and then we get a response back, which we send back to Streamlit instance. Now, if we were to go back to our code space, we see that the Streamlit frontend is listening on a different port, which will bring the running instance of Streamlit for us. Now, this is connected with our Langflow webhook or Langflow backend, Anything we type in here is going to be picked by the Langflow webhook, and then we get a response back. So to give it a try, I'm gonna type hi. What we'll see is that the message goes through this flow that we had, and we send something back to the front end, which is a streaming response in here. Now, of course, if we want, we can keep chatting here, and that will reach to our backend. And since we have Streamlit connected to Langflow's backend, we can pretty much build any sort of simple or complex flow in Langflow. And using the listen and send components, now we can communicate with Streamlit and have that available as a front end UI that could be used for demo purposes or for building MVPs of your AI applications.